They're painted with a paintbrush. Oh, sweet. It's like they're posing. Yeah. Each pattern on their coats is unique, and that's how they can tell each other apart even at a great distance. They're also very efficient hunters because of their ability to communicate as a pack. You might think that an animal called the wild dog would have a really ferocious sounding bark, but they actually sound more like squeaky toys. If their silhouette looks familiar, that's because you've already seen them before. The sable antelopes are the symbol of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. So the next time you see one of our signs, look carefully at that silhouette. That's the sable antelope. These red rock formations on either side of our trunk actually aren't rocks at all. They're termite mounds. They are formed by termite colonies, and elephants. The giraffe can be on the move. Giraffes usually move at a rather leisurely pace, but if need be, they can move as fast as 30 miles per hour. You can also see to right there are two animals you might not recognize. You'll see a very small animal with black and white racing stripes on their side. Those are the spring box, and they're the smallest kind of antelope we'll see on the reserve today. They can leap forward about 16 feet. You can also see those gray animals to our right on the top of the hill. Those are the light bearded wildebeests. They're also called a new after the sounds they make. That's pulling down vegetation down from the trees. A giraffe's heart weighs about 25 pounds, and it's about two feet in length. They need really powerful hearts to bump blood through their long circulatory systems. And on our left, we'll look for the mandrels. Man. What's your favorite part? <laughs> On either side of our tree, elephants live in a matriarchal society. That basically means whatever mama says goes. <laughs> you might live in a matriarchal society in your family. <laughs> you can tell African and Indian elephants apart by the shapes of their ears. African elephants have larger ears that are shaped like the continent of Africa. Those larger ears allow for better blood circulation since they hold more blood vessels and that keeps them a lot cooler. That's also why they will gently flap their ears back and forth. 